Hello everyone, my name is Saurabh Chandan and I'm a Gastroenterology and Hepatology Fellow at the University of Nebraska Medical Center in Omaha, Nebraska. On behalf of my co-authors, Dr. Babu Mohan from University of Utah in Salt Lake City, Utah, Dr. Shahab Khan from Rush University Medical Center in Chicago, Illinois, Drs. Neil Bhogal, Harmeet Mashiana, Lokesh Cha, Ishfaq Bhatt, and Shalender Singh from University of Nebraska Medical Center in Omaha, Nebraska, Dr. Daryl Ramai from the Brooklyn Hospital Center in Brooklyn, New York, Dr. Mohammed Bilal from Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center in Boston, Massachusetts, Dr. Mohammed Aziz from University of Toledo in Toledo, Ohio, Dr. On Raza Shah from Metro Health in Cleveland, Ohio, and Dr. Douglas Adler from University of Utah School of Medicine in Salt Lake City, Utah, I would like to thank Gastrointestinal Endoscopy for inviting me to do this author interview series. I want to thank you all for watching this video on our recently published article, Adenoma and Polyp Detection Rates During Insertion versus Withdrawal Phase of Colonoscopy, a Systematic Review and Meta-Analysis of Randomized Controlled Trials. As you all know, colorectal cancer is the third most common cause of cancer worldwide and the third leading cause of cancer deaths in Western countries. Colonoscopy is a commonly performed screening test for colorectal cancer as it has both diagnostic and therapeutic capabilities. Studies have shown a strong association between screening colonoscopy and a reduced risk of death from colorectal cancers. But despite its widespread clinical use and proven mortality lowering benefit, a major limitation of colonoscopy is that even experienced operators can miss polyps. This miss rate is estimated to be about 22% for polyps of any size and about 2% for polyps greater than 10 mm in size. To evaluate the current evidence further, we conducted a systematic review and meta-analysis to evaluate the effect of inspection during insertion and withdrawal phase compared with withdrawal-only phase of colonoscopy on ADR or adenoma detection rate. We also evaluated differences in polyps detected per patient, sequel intubation time, withdrawal time, and total procedure time between the two study cohorts. We hypothesized that thorough evaluation performed during both insertion and withdrawal phase resulted in improved outcomes as compared with evaluation during withdrawal phase alone. Our analysis included seven randomized controlled trials with a total of 3,883 patients who underwent screening or surveillance colonoscopies. There were 1,976 patients in the insertion withdrawal polypectomy cohort and 1,907 patients in the withdrawal-only cohort. Overall, screening colonoscopy was performed in 1,481 patients and surveillance colonoscopy in 941 patients. We found that performing a thorough inspection during the insertion as well as the withdrawal phase of colonoscopy does not result in an increase in the adenoma detection rate or number of polyps detected per patient compared with inspection performed during withdrawal only phase. This was a notable finding of our analysis and this should affect clinical practice. The pooled ADR was 47.2% in the insertion withdrawal cohort and 48.6% in the withdrawal only cohort. Similarly, the pool rate of polyps detected per patient was 1.4 in the insertion withdrawal cohort and 1.5 in the withdrawal only cohort. Interestingly, even though the sequel intubation time was significantly greater in the insertion withdrawal cohort, the withdrawal time and total procedure times were comparable. Based on our meta-analysis, we conclude that additional inspection and polypectomy performed during the insertion and withdrawal phase of colonoscopy offers no additional benefit in terms of ADR or polyps detected per patient. I once again thank you all for watching this video and I hope you find our study as exciting as we did.